Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and welcome to the NBG series or the New Player Guide series where I take certain aspects of the game and go a little bit into detail so new players have it a lot easier to understand. So, today's topic is going to be the Hyperion, so let's get started. So, the Pantheon or the Hyperion. So this is going to be unlocked fairly early into your, into your account's progression. Uh, if you don't have it, just make sure that you clear campaign and you're going to get it fairly soon. Um, and um, the Hyperion or the Pantheon is going to be playing a big part into your account progression. Why? Because it's going to help your lineups improve with certain stats. For example, as you can see here on the, as you can see here on the right side. Uh, my Hyperion is level 191 and provides plus 10% attack bonus, 20, 23 almost 24% HP bonus, rage regen bonus, crit damage, healing effect and attack speed. So how do we obtain this? Let's, re let's read what Moonton actually prepared for us and go further into detail a little later on. So upgrade Hyperion in the Pantheon to enhance your gameplay. Hyperion has 4 attributes that can be upgraded using Hyperion insignias. You can obtain the required insignias from Faction Trial. The level of Hyperion is determined by the cumulative level of all the attributes. Reaching certain levels with Hyperion unlocks special events. Attribute Bonuses All heroes deployed in battles will benefit from the attribute bonuses provided by the Hyperion. So this last part here is very important, I want you guys to keep in mind. The attribute bonuses are going to be deployed only to heroes that are deployed in battle so this is not uh, an extra 10 percent in your uh, hero detail screen like uh, you would check my hacks here you won't see the bonuses here but once you deploy hacks in any of, of your battles or whatever hero you choose to deploy he's going to benefit from the hyperion bonuses so going back to the hype to the pantheon you can see that the hyperion has these four attributes here one's called dragon's shelter One's called Dragon Spirit, one's called Agility, and one's called Might. So, in order to make it easier to understand, think of these like the um, the purple, the brown one, the green one, the blue one, and the red one. Okay? So, each one of these provide a bonus to two different stats. So, for example, the brown one provides HP bonus and Rage Regen bonuses. Uh, the blue one provides attack bonus and attack speed bonuses. The green one. HP bonus and healing effect bonuses and the red one provides attack bonus and crit damage bonuses. So this is already going to be quite useful, especially in your tide, in your guild boss, in your campaign progression. So what's very important here and I want you guys to keep in mind is that you need to clear the Hyperion every single day and try to upgrade it as quickly as possible. So how do you do that? As you can see, the in my Hyperion level, the Dragon Shelter, for me to upgrade it to the next level, which would be level 72, I would need to have 70 purple insignias. Uh, why purple? Because there are different rarities of insignias and different requirements of rarities in order to upgrade those. So as you can see here in my Dragon's Might, the requirement for me is 76 rare insignias and uh, the insignias coincide with the color of the attribute so you can see the attribute is red the insignia is going to be red but that's not necessarily you don't necessarily need to keep that in mind it's just something that you can um, observe and um, make use of so you can know what to farm each day okay so how do we obtain these insignias in order to upgrade our attributes and our hyperion level overall well, as the Pantheon description said before, you need to clear faction trials. And the faction trials are not here in this screen. They are actually, if you click on raids, faction trial, and this is the faction trial. So as you can see, we have a basic trial. This basic trial is going to be available every single day to be completed three times maximum. And then we have a um, series of different faction trials that uh, coincide with different um, factions of the game. So as you can see, today's faction trial is the trial of the Infernal. So here, 
you can use only infernal um, heroes, part of the infernal faction. So tomorrow is going to be faction of the piercers. That would mean what? That piercers need to be are the only heroes that uh, can be placed in this type of uh, trials. So as you can see here, the rewards differ. For example, the, the infernal faction trial provides um, red insignias. The piercers trial provides blue. The cult is green. Esotericist brown. Watchers red and so on and so forth and these cycle on every day every single day similar to the basic trial you'll be able to complete this one three times every single day so okay right how do we complete this in order to receive the specific type of insignia that we need so you're going to have to farm this basic trial every day this basic trial is going to provide only brown insignias right so you will start off with stage one as you can see here in the dropping um, uh, area over here you can see that you can receive between two and five green shelter insignia or brown insignias uh, for each completion of this stage let's not forget we can complete this stage three times per day so that would mean that the further on you can go downwards into the stage the better the rewards are going to get and the more efficient your Hyperion level leveling will be. As you can see in stage 2 you will get 3 to 6 per completion and in stage 3 you will get 6 to 9 per completion. But you see a difference in stage 4. You can see that the type of insignia grows up in value uh, one stage. So from stage 3 to stage 4 the insignia turns from green to red to blue sorry from green to blue rarity or a rare rarity right so from stage 4 up until stage 7 the drop rate is going to be from 3 to 6 up until from 6 to 9 so if for example you are at the, be at the beginning of your uh, pantheon leveling you would probably require green insignias green brown insignias so that would mean that you would like or you would be better off reaching stage 3 and completing stage 3 as quickly as possible and using those green insignias until the requirements of the next level up upgrade uh, is going to be switched to the rare one so in order to be as efficient as possible you would like you would have to complete stage 3 as quickly as possible to farm the green insignias as quickly as quickly as possible Okay, this is the basic trial. Similarly to the basic trial, this is the exact same for different tri different factions. For Infernal faction is the same. You would like to complete um, the stage um, 4, for example, to reach the maximum amount of green insignia that you can get in order to upgrade your, uh, your uh, dragon's red attribute, right? And so on and so forth. Tomorrow for me or for us, it's going to be the blue insignia and so on and so forth. Okay, so as you can see, uh, these specific faction trials, not the basic one, have more stages to complete, right? So with each stage that you complete, you're going to get one more, well, three more stars if you hit it with three stars. And here on the top right side corner, you're met with the requirements in order to finish with uh, all the required stars. So for stage 9 um, faction trial of the infernal I'll have to complete it uh, I'll have it to I'll have to complete it firstly obviously and then clear the stage with the soul core intact so that would exactly like in campaign that would mean you don't have to you don't have to let uh, any single monster reach your, your uh, little um, diamond that you're protecting and the third in order to get three stars or three diamonds over here i have to deploy at least one fighter okay so that's fairly easy you just need to keep this in mind so you reach the you can complete the stage and auto fight it because you can't auto fight the stage uh, if you don't uh, three star it all right so as you can see you can three star different multiple stages up until stage 12 for the uh, infernal trial and those little stars will add up to the rewards over here down below so as you can see i've managed to gather only 205 stars because i haven't necessarily focused on the hyperion even though i've been doing it daily um and uh, 
that would mean that I received all the rewards that you see here. So for the first 5 stars you'll get 50 stamina, for the first 10 you'll get 1 rare skill crystal and so on and so forth. The rewards are going to scale up depending on how far you went into the Hyperion and the stage clearing, right? And at the end, at the very end, we'll get uh, two legendary summoning crystals uh, at the 275 mark and the 276 mark will receive a random legendary. That's pretty far off into the future. And well, let's not concern ourselves with that so far. So, uh, besides these rewards over here, let's say you complete the faction trial, you've completed both the basic trial and the... Um, daily uh, trial or the daily faction trial that is in that specific day you will go back to the pantheon and upgrade your um, your attribute your dragon attribute and uh, another thing that's very important for example if you've reached a certain uh, a certain level of the hyperion so this is not the star rewards that you have in the faction trial if you reach this is the leveling rewards for the Hyperion. If you reach different levels for the Hyperion, you receive different account-wide bonuses. So, for example, uh, at level 60, we get one EXP bonus that lasts 24 hours, 50 diamonds, and also uh, I it increases EXP obtained through battle by 5%. So, that's going to be a nice little boost to our uh, heroes that are going to be leveling up through fighting. At level 100, increases the hero capacity by 20 slots. At level 140, increase gold obtained through battle by 5%, which is quite good. And so on and so forth, up until level 320, which is the maximum, which will increase the hero capacity by 50 slots. What I recommend here is, for example, to time out collecting these rewards. For example, let's say you've reached level 40. And you know you don't have enough stamina to farm EXP. You don't need to farm EXP, maybe. I wouldn't collect this reward until you decide to farm EXP. This type of EXP reward is actually going to be collected instantaneously and the bonus is going to apply inevitably without you having a choice as to when. The only way that you can choose when to apply this bonus is if you choose to collect this reward only at the day that you want that bonus. So this is a small little tip, if you decide to farm EXP instead of going to the Dwarven shop, into the arena shop or uh, whatever and buy it from with arena coins, you can just collect it from here when it's available and that's nice, a nice little tip. Uh, then, what I will also recommend, and I think it's very, 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 very important, is that, for example, as you can see here, I need... Uh, purple insignias for the dragon's agility here um, not so long ago i was required to have um, rare insignias up until level 40 you are required to have rare insignias not uh, epic insignias to upgrade your uh, your dragon's attribute but uh, i was already i think i was already into the purple stage so what does that mean uh, as you can see here at the brown dragon's sh uh, shelter attribute I need 70 purple insignias but what if I am required to have 70 rare insignias and my actual basic trial is in stage 8 wouldn't I want to farm these epic insignias and then use the system that Moonton provides us and actually disassemble the epic insignias into, into rare insignias as you can see here, there is an assemble and dismantle button here that you can use. So, I urge you not to use this unless there are insignias that you no longer need. So, what does that mean? Uh, if I need, if I would have been to, if I would have needed rare insignias here, and I, as you can see, I'm in stage 8 that provides purple insignias, there is a very big mistake if you actually go farm epic insignias then disassemble those epic insignias into rare insignias so I, you can upgrade this one you're actually going to receive more insignias if you keep um, if you keep uh, completing and fighting the last stage uh, the last stage of the required rarity of insignia so do not disassemble do not farm the 
last stage or the higher stage that provides even more insignias just because you got there already uh, and disassemble the insignias just uh, farm the 6-9 so uh, or the stage before that provides the biggest amount of uh, of insignias for the required rarity so um, that's what I would do right for example uh, right now I'm at uh, level 39 in this um, 40 in this dragon's might if I would have to I wouldn't push for stage 9 as you can see here I've completed only stage 8 because even though I can complete stage 9 fairly easily I don't have to since I require these rares it helps to clear this one if you want ahead of time but it's uh, not going to be as important unless you need these epic insignias so don't be bummed if you haven't reached the later stages of the game you're gonna get there and you're gonna have to actually figure out how to clear this because these are quite harder and uh, there is no uh, drawback if you don't do it yet unless you require the epic insignias so uh, yeah this is basically the pantheon uh, it's very important that you do these faction trials every single day that you complete it three times a week that you achieve the highest level the highest stage possible in order to get the best amount of, uh, of uh, the most amount of insignias per um, insignia rarity required and uh, upgrade your pantheon or the hyperion every single day because it's going to improve your your tide progression it's going to improve your um, it's going to ease make your um, your campaign progression easier and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, let me know if this was uh, I don't know maybe uh, too into too much detail or if you would like something more concise I will probably create some um, some uh, guides on uh, different faction trial stages if you guys feel like it let me the, let me know in the comments below but until then uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like to subscribe uh, to comment I read every single comment that I see uh, this has been Andy event horizon gaming um, see ya Thank you.